This is our video of the ventilator working with an open circuit alarm system. I've put this together today. Little alarm, if I push the button you'll hear it beep. Um, if the ventilator alarms, which I'll let it, let it do, it's now alarming, you can hear it going off. I can reset that alarm. Reset it again. I've tested a little test rig button here. It's got an on-off switch. Now, if I shut the ventilator down, I'll demonstrate what happens. The alarm now goes off. The ventilator is turned off. No alarm showing. The only way I can stop this now is to actually physically turn it off. By comparison, this is what happens when the ventilator shuts down, we end up with no alarm. The alarm system fails. Now, I'm going to shut the ventilator down and demonstrate how this system works. Shutting down. It initially alarms. I reset. I turn off. Our alarm just turned itself off. I'll now describe how our new system works with the open circuit alarm. So this is our open circuit alarm system that we've built with a little FET. There's a little FET transistor in here that helps with the circuitry. So if I turn it on, it's in alarm mode. If I turn my ventilator back on, it closes. I can test my alarm with the little button again. The ventilator's starting up. Reset the alarm. Hold my finger in the end of this, so this is going to be much better than our other alarm system that was relied on a closed circuit function. So we'll get this built with some bits coming and change over to it. Just shutting it down again. Ventilator's off, we're in alarm mode. Yeah, the only way I can shut this off now is I've got to physically turn it off.